Hi, everyone. I'm Paul with Madcap Software. So when you decide that you are going to bind your project, your Flare project to Madcap Central, you actually have a couple of options. One is called single bound. And the other is called dual bound. So in this video, I'm just going to talk briefly about single bindings. Now, that's actually what I just did in the previous video. If you watch that, I had a project wasn't bound to anything in source control, and I just tied it to, to Madcap Central. And uh, so that uploaded a clone of my project up to Central. That's single bound, one binding from Flare to Madcap Central. So once that's done, now you can do all kinds of things. Now you can use the use it for source control and you can you got your project up there and you can do you know you can do builds and host the output, make output live, do topic reviews, all of that. So the source control part of this single binding, when you are going to actually be doing those different tasks, first of all, you got to make sure that uh, anybody on your team, any other writers are associated with that project and they have the right permissions. So this is the project that I uploaded in the last video, Flare Project. And you can see it's associated with two writers. Uh, it's, it's associated with me and with Jeff Lebowski. I, I uh, gave him access to uh, to be connected to that project so he can do things. You can go to a user's uh, their profile in here. And in the previous one, uh, previous video, I showed that, yeah, they had to have this import pull permission in order to import the project. But now that it's it's up there, it's uh, ready to go. They You also want to make sure that they have access, they have the, the push permissions, because what's going to happen here, in addition to import pull, because what's going to happen here is once uh, you and your team are in Flare and you're working away, you need to keep your files in sync, the local ones that are down on your computer with the ones that are up remote um, on central. So when you and the other writers on your team are working away in Madcap Flare, you want to make sure that you are logged in to central. And so you go to view Madcap Central, and you can see I'm logged in and I'm bound to the project and I know it because I see all this stuff in here about the project. Now, when you're single bound, you're going to be using uh, the source control ribbon and the other areas of the UI to do uh, your source control tasks. And very simply, the main tasks, tasks that you're going to be doing is you are going to be doing uh, pulls, commits, and pushes. And uh, synchronize is a combination between pull and push. So you have the source control ribbon here. Uh, you also have the source control explorer, which I've opened up here. And so there's different things that you may be doing in, uh, in the source control explorer. And then you also have these options down here at the bottom uh, when you are bound to Madcap Central, which are just basically um, the same, you know, alternative buttons that you get elsewhere. So this one right here is going to, as soon as you start making uh, changes to a file and you save the file, that thing is going to display a number. Just took a minute here for it to populate, but I made change, a change to one file. And so it, uh, it showed right there. And that means I have a pending commit. And when you click that, it opens up the source control explorer to that view, the pending changes. And then this button right here is the same as the synchronize button. Okay. And master uh, right here, this is actually for branching. If you are going to be doing source control branching. And if you haven't looked into that, into that you really should. It's a really cool thing. And right now, this project only has one branch but I could switch to another one if I wanted to. And you can also click the main button and it brings up this branch management dialog, just another thing that you can do to deal with branches. So um, I am not going to go into a whole lot of depth in, in, the, in all these source control tasks. I actually have a whole video series, uh, Flare video series on 
source control where I go into way more depth than I am here. So I would encourage you to check that out. And that includes information about branching in case you're curious about it, want to know about it. But I just want to let you know the main things that you're going to be doing when you are single bound and working with source control, trying to keep your files in sync with the ones up on central, you're going to be doing polls. So you open up a project, first thing you want to do is do a poll. Okay. And because I made a change here, uh, it's letting me know, hey, in order to do the poll, you need to finish this commit because I had already started making a change here. But normally you would just, before you make any changes at all, you do a poll. That's going to get things from central down to you in case other writers on your team were making changes. And so you're, you're up to date. Then you start making changes like I did here. And once you get... Uh, you know, you've done a certain number of changes, what, whatever you decide, and you want to do a commit. So a commit sort of groups all of those changes together. So it's kind of good to work in logical chunks. You know, you're working on one area, and then you go, okay, this is a good stopping point, I'm going to do a commit. And you click that button, or you just open up uh, the pending changes view of the Source Control Explorer, or you can open up this uh, window to pending changes. It's just another way of doing this. You add a comment in here, um, added uh, the word change. It's good to be descriptive with your, with your comments. Now you're going to commit this. So it's saying, okay, I've got this group of changes. In this case, it was just one file, but it could be dozens of files, uh, hundreds of files maybe that are part of a commit changes. And once that's done, notice the number went away down here because I finished my commit. This number um, is shown now because it's reminding me, hey, you've done a commit, but I haven't pushed that up to uh, the remote location, up to Madcap Central. So I need to do that. So I can just click push and do that. But it is a best practice to do a synchronize because it's never a bad idea to do a poll. And what a synchronize is, it does a poll and then a push. So I can click this little button down here and I'm only single bound. So I don't have multiple bindings, multiple remotes. I just have Madcap Central. That's cool. Just click OK. And it's going to go through this process where it pulls down anything that just happened to be up on Central while I was, you know, between the time that I had made my commits and, and, I'm, and I'm going to push does that and then it pushes. And so now the number goes away down here. I'm all set. Those are the main things you're going to do. Again, there are tons and tons of other things that you can do with source control. Again, tech, check out that video series, that flare video series on source control. So that's a single binding when you're just bound to Madcap Central. And uh, if you are bound to another provider plus Central, that's called a dual binding. So you might be bound to um, Perforce Helix Core and Central, or you might be bound to Team Foundation Server and Central. You might decide if you had been using you know, a previous binding, you might decide to keep that, but add the Central one so that you can take advantage of, uh, of the things that you get up on Central. But if you are thinking, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to do Central, I, I'm not gonna be bound to anything else, what you can do is just skip the next video then. You don't need to go learn about that. Uh, if you are going to, and then, and then you, just, you just continue on the way through the rest of this video series. If you are going to be bound or you're thinking about it to two things, to uh, one binding and then also to uh, one provider and then also to central, watch the next video on dual bound projects and I'll see you there or I'll see you in the video after that.